Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving bacteria and viruses. In this video, different classifications of archaeobacteria will be described. Most archaeobacteria are extremophiles, organisms that live in very extreme conditions. The bacterium picture on this slide, one of the few major groups of archaeobacteria described in this video, is a thermoacidophile, an organism that lives in very hot and very acidic environments such as deep ocean vents. Archaea, the domain to which archaeobacteria belong, was the last domain added in 1977. Prior to this date, they were classified with all other bacteria. What's interesting is that archaea are more distantly related to other bacteria, eubacteria, as eukaryotes are to archaeobacteria, as illustrated in the phylogenetic tree on this slide. Note how archaea and eukarya, to which humans belong, branch off together initially. There are many major groups of archaeobacteria, as illustrated on this slide, but we will be discussing three specific groups, methanogens, halophiles, and thermoacidophiles. Thermoacidophile is a pretty big word, but it can be broken down quite easily. Thermo refers to temperature. Think thermometer. Acido looks just like the word acid, and the suffix phile means loving, just like we discussed earlier in the year, with hydrophilic, or water-loving, heads of the cell membrane. Put the parts of this word together, and you end up with heat and acid-loving bacteria. Thermoacidophiles live in very hot and very acidic environments. An example of such an environment would be a black smoker vent on the ocean's floor, spewing out sulfur. Another example of such a habitat that would contain these bacteria would be hot springs and geysers in Yellowstone Park. Methanogens are another classification of archaeobacteria. These organisms are all characterized by their ability to produce methane gas. Methane gas smells. As a result, you usually find methanogens in smelly places. Bogs, sewage treatment plants, and the intestines of livestock are a few examples. These organisms use hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide to produce methane gas, and most are classified as chemoautotrophs. The word halophile can be broken down into two parts, halo and phile. Phile means loving, like we discussed earlier, and halo refers to salts. Halogens, that are in the second to last column in the periodic table, often are a key component of salts. Halophiles, of course, live in environments with lots of salt. Examples of such places would be salt lakes, such as the Dead Sea, depicted here, and salt mines. That is the end of this video involving different classifications of archaeobacteria. If you are interested in learning more about bacteria and viruses or any other topic relating to biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.